Hey, what's up, YouTube and Chromebook uh, newbie developers? I noticed that my video for uh, Chromebook beginners that were just people uh, just getting into uh, web development and with a Chromebook was pretty popular as far as my videos go. Uh, so I thought I'd expand on that with a series on Cloud9, uh, which is what I use for developing most of my projects. Um, I'll use Code CodePen, which is another service for simpler things and kind of messing around. But if I want to do something, um, multiple files kind of, um, I'm going to end up using Cloud9. So you come to uh, c9.io and make an account. Uh, I already have an account. Um, so this is their landing page. It kind of just goes over what you get. You basically get a, a, a limited amount of workspaces on their free plan, which is really cool. And you don't even really need to understand what the workspace is, but it's, it's a Docker container. That's basically like you have your own little, uh, virtual machine running, um, Ubuntu, which is a Linux distribution. You don't need to really even understand what all that means. And really I'm not a big Linux person, um, but I'm able to use this stuff without really knowing a heck of a lot about like Linux command line stuff and how it all works. That's really a side issue. So I'm going to sign in. And the cool part is if I can get my name right. Uh, the cool part is with the free plan, you can have as many workspaces as you want. Um, I think that's pretty neat. And uh, if you have if you have a GitHub account, you can integrate. It can, you can integrate and pull down any of your GitHub repositories. And you can also pull down any of your Google. If you have stuff uh, with the Google Cloud Platform, you can clone that to work on those as well. But what's nifty here is you can just create any old new workspace you want. And how you do that is all you gotta do, we'll just do a regular one. So right here, you can clone them. There's other way you can clone them from here too um, and do a bunch of other stuff, but we'll just do a regular hosted workspace. You can put a description in there if you want. We'll just say test for YouTube series. And then you're going to be presented with all these choices of, um, they basically have a, a template for you. Um, so you can have a Node.js template, a PHP, Apache, uh, Python, Django, Ruby, C++, WordPress, Rails. I mainly um, develop it with Node.js and JavaScript. Um, I am still pretty much a beginner. So I either use Node.js, HTML5, or Blank. But I like the Blank one because then I can build up whatever I want within that space. And you just simply click, click create workspace and it's going to load up an isolated container. So the way I figure each project gets its own isolated container. And you really have a lot of power uh, in these containers, especially since each project gets its own container. Uh, so it's just going to open up and it's going to have a readme. But basically, you'll see each container is basically like you can think of it as a virtual machine with relatively low. It's only got two gigs of uh, storage and 512 uh, megabytes of RAM. But if you if you think about it, you're only really running whatever you build in here. So it's not that big a deal. 
So you can do you can do lots of stuff in here. Pretty much the most simple thing is just make an index.html and then you open it. So you've got your workspace, your file trees over here. You've got a built-in terminal. You've got a built-in uh, REPL, which is pretty cool. But I'm not going to get into that stuff in this video. This is just a basic video. So here I'm editing HTML. So you've got these cool Emmet. Um, this is this already has Git installed. This has a version of Node installed, amongst a bunch of other different things that are come pre-installed with every single workspace. You don't have to go and like normally if you had like a Windows machine or uh, an Apple or something, you'd you'd install. You'd have to install Git. You'd have to install Node. Um, but each one of these workspaces is gonna is gonna come pre-installed uh, with that which is pretty cool. And it's also got Emmet. So you can just do exclamation point and hit tab. That's a nifty little trick. And that's going to give you your standard HTML uh, document. Just title it YouTube demo. You can see it's, it's pretty cool. It, it automatically created the closing tag. And I just save it. And then right here you can preview, do a live preview of index.html. There it is right there. That's pretty nifty. And you get a live preview of your file right there. I mean, this is pretty much the simplest example possible. And then you can you can blow it out by clicking this right here. It blows it out to its own page. So that's just like it's the equivalent of if you were developing locally and you you spun up a local host server, you know. Except it's all within it's all within your um, your Cloud Nine environment. So you notice up here it's an actual it's an actual spot it's an actual web address. But this is how you, this is the bare bones basics of how you get started. Um, and you could even you could totally do um, you could totally create. You could totally create a CSS file. Bring it over here. Make a rule. And then up here, you can bring in that style sheet. With a rel style sheet, let's see an href. Style it CSS, and I believe type equals text slash CSS. I think <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure. There it is. So as you can see, a live reloaded. I just had to get rid of that slash because it's in the same it's in the same folder right there. You just have to reference relative path, um, and boom! Now you've got a style sheet linked up. Uh, and later we can link up in the next video. Maybe we can link up um, a script.
All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.